Luke Simons with you back to the basics 101. As most of you know, yes, we are ranchers, homesteaders, etc., but we also have a construction company. And today, my guys are busy, and so I'm out here working on a, a house for a friend, for a friend, <laughs> who trims trees, and he fell a tree on top of a roof, and we have broken rafters. So I had to get a piece of three quarter inch plywood up here. And as most of you know, I have Gillian Beret. This is a very easy trick most of you know about. Of course, that's just a vice grips. Everyone knows that. But especially with tin, if you're tinning your roof, this is a trick. Come along and I'll show you how to do it. Okay, so what we're doing is we're just adjusting our vice grips so that we can clamp it down very firmly on here now this works really good really really good for steel if paracord really works good let's go like this good to go If you have this system set up, it works really good if you have a piece of rope and you can just drop the vice grips back to them to the person on the ground. That way if there's tin, you can just pull tin up on the roof all day long. This is a trick that I'm telling you works really good. Now the wind a little bit took this one and that's not ideal to bump it against the house of course. So I should have pulled it on the other side. My other side here, I have all my rafters tore off so I can't pull it on the side where the wind isn't. So that's just what happens. When you're sick, you have to work around being sick. This stuff here, uh, an Amish friend taught me that with a pair of ice grips. Um, they build a lot of roofs, uh, barns, etc., with steel on them and that is the trick. All right, we have our little Weber grill. I think this is called the Smoky Joe. And I am cooking over pecan. And my wife marinated us some chicken breast. And we are not really grilling, we're smoking. And like I said, we're on this job site. So what we have is our pecan, our briquettes, and right here. You can see we're not cooking over the briquettes because we want them to smoke. So I'm gonna actually back these up just a tish and I'll show you what our lunch breaks look like when I'm actually at the job site. So you're gonna start to see this beautiful blue smoke coming out of this, just rolling out of there. And that's what we want. Get us having fun today? Yes, sir. So as we're grilling here, I was gonna show you what I have here. This is Oxford leather company and this is the nicest tool belt I've ever had in my life um, I think as much as I actually throw a belt on these days um, this belt will probably last me forever um, unless it was in a fire or something but check this quality out here I mean we're talking some heavy duty quality and nice deep pockets oh there's one of my little thing I made it's got Tylenol or ibuprofen in it, whatever it is in there. And then uh, nail bag. I've got a, a little flat bar in here. I should really take that out. Um, I just bought a new one actually. I don't even know who that makes that. Just a little flat bar. But you don't really use it anymore if you have a right cat's paw. Uh, I have both my carpenter squares in here, my contractor framing square. This is a carpenter square. Um, 
that I don't know why I have that in there. That's just dead weight. Um, this nail bag, I'm wearing it in the back and actually to the back and to the right and just using my old framing hammer over there. But um, man, that is nice. Oxford, great job on that. Uh, this bag here is, you're thinking, oh well, big deal. I mean, that's what you're thinking. Um, all my pliers goes in there, which my daughter is doing that because my nail, framing nailer went kaput, and so we're hand nailing everything, but actually, here, let me see that plier real quick, sweetheart. Check this out. This plier is made by um, International Tractor, okay? Not only is it a great great uh, pliers um, and I put a little bit of grooves in there because when I was in the oil field uh, everything you're doing is is gross but look what I did with the grinder seeing that you can use that for a lever you can stick it in there and you see how the, how the handles bowed you can just little things up and it really works good flat edge screwdriver that's what that is Pretty slick. Seeing that? There you go, sweetheart. So this is where it's at, right here. I don't use this Oxford for the leather. I should just take that off, actually. I don't, it's just in my way. I don't use that for my, my tape measure at all. Um, I, I like to keep it in my opposite bag. Well, oh, and just as a reminder, this here is a 5060, is what that is. Um, this here, I don't know if it even has a number on it. It's just their standard nail holder. And then the belt. If you don't get anything else, the belt is phenomenal. Like this is a quality belt right here. This is good. And I bought this in South Dakota at a pawn shop. I always like to go to pawn shops. This belt is like a $375 belt, I believe it is, at today's price. Um, and I picked this belt up for $100 as you see it um I, yeah as you see it it was a hundred bucks everything um and whoever had it put their initials on it which is fine so <clears throat> anyways here we are we have two single bags in the front and you can see they're deep bags okay um of course i did a review on on my klein screwdriver which is awesome if you didn't see it um, I don't know if the review is awesome, but that is, that's an extending. You just push it in, and I can extend that out a long, long ways. And then if I want to, I can just push it in and have a shorty. But that is a long screwdriver, which is awesome. So, went from having two screwdrivers to one in my, my pocket. This is a sweet tool. See, you seen that? All of my tools are just staying nice and organized in this, um, um, this is probably one of the best uh, utility knives I've ever had. It's pretty much new. A lot of these tools in here are new. When I got a new bag, I just kind of got went and put all my old tools in my van and and uh, got them for spares now. But this here is made by Dewalt. It's a cat's paw, and it is a phenomenal tool. I would recommend it highly. It is not just a cat's paw, it has an eye, and you can pop a nail right around it and, and just, I mean, I'm, on this project, I've been using this thing nonstop, and that actually is a brand new tool. Picked it up, absolutely love it. Um, I'll tell you something, if you're cutting metal, and the technique I showed you earlier today, cutting metal, get yourself a good midland snips this snips is the best snips we've used these for probably 25 30 years and they are phenomenal they're just absolutely phenomenal and check this out it just stays right there right there isn't that sweet and this bag here let's see what bag number is that that is the uh, 501 8db bag so that's what that is and another thing i'd like to do like i said i sell a lot of jobs i don't physically usually do the labor anymore but they sell a wool piece here which would make this fit just like a harness and would fit absolutely awesome it would be awesome but brand new bag picked it up for a song and a dance this is my 
This is my dream bag. And the Lord just provided it. It just, he just provided it. And isn't that sweet? All your tools just nice and neat in that bag. And it fits so awesome. I did buy the su suspenders um, separately, but I got away from wearing them. And uh, they just pinch me too much. So uh, I'm going to give those to my dad for Christmas, actually. He's going to love them. He wears suspenders all the time. And uh, isn't that beautiful? It's gorgeous. You're looking, you're not cooking. Remember. Oh, yeah. Seen that? <laughs> it's looking good. So we have a framing nailer. I just hung that not too long ago, but um, <clears throat> you can see I took a file to that, and it sure helps having it filed. And then just a regular hickory handle, which just in case you didn't know, hickory goes, grows in the United States. That's where she grows. I don't know if she grows anywhere else geographically in the world, but... Um, she hasn't loosened up at all. And I've done a lot of pounding today. I'll show you a couple of tricks. When it's hot out, and it is hot, roll your pants up. Even rolled up just like this. Tell you what, that will allow your pant leg to breathe. Now I know it looks hillbilly-ish, but it really works. The other trick is, is you take your customer's water hose and you just start with your hands, not way up high, just your hands, and then you just work it up. That's how you do it. And then you get that sleeve. Now if you start high right away, it'll be really cold. Take it. It's like a radiator. Just like so. Now that's pretty cold. And then if you get that top of that shirt right like that, that'll keep you cooler for a longer time. Then another thing I do is I just rinse my hat out good, get that saturated. Just an old Amish hat is what that is with a big nail through it. I don't know if you can see that. That's so if the wind takes it, it usually stops it from blowing away forever. Then I just take it and get that mop. Oh, and I get it on your neck. Oh man, does that feel good. Like so. Oh, the dark feel good. And that, my friends, is how you do this. Thank you, Lord, for this day, for this food. Thank you for your goodness. In Jesus' name, amen. Now, like I mentioned earlier, a good utility knife is worth a lot of money. This one's DeWalt, and I mean, I think I paid like $12, $14 for it, something like that. But a straight edge blade is not gonna do you any good on shingles. So you wanna pull that out, and you want something that you can just pull, you know, something that that um, is is handy. You know, you want something that, that is quick and handy. Um, you know, the back in the old days, we used ones where you had to take a screw and all that fun stuff. Do yourself a favor and put that in your wife's little toolbox and she doesn't use it much. And that way you can have it in the house because you're not going to use a utility blade enough to wear one out, uh, generally speaking. <clears throat> so, on a roof... You want to use what they call an eagle talon or a hook blade. I call them a hook blade. This makes it so you can cut a shingle right now really quick, really fast. That is something that I see a lot of do-it-yourselfers. They don't know the, the what a hook blade is. You want that hook blade to look like so. And you certainly don't want to gouge yourself. Believe me, you get a lot of holes in your pants. And... Uh, very quickly, get yourself a hook blade if you're going to be doing roofing. One cut, and look at that. 
That went all the way through, folks. Guarantee ya. Grab my hammer. Look at that. Straight. I can cut out anything I want to. Look at that. Nice. That's what I'm talking about with a hook blade. Till next time, may the Lord guide and keep you. Happy trails.